Hey, I'm Dre, and this is Dre Trading. Uh, I guess a, a week you can't really complain too much about. Um, with us having two weeks, you know, being positive 2%, uh, this was a week where we were down, but we weren't down too much. And as long as I'm reading, uh, you know, my decimal points uh, correctly this time, it was down 0.4%, so not even a full half percentage. So, you know, it, it was, we, we lost money, uh, and that's not good. And like I kind of said, yes, uh, last uh, week, um, with the last couple of weeks being 2%, yes, that's gains, and, you know, we're happy to see that. But we like to average 5 to 6 to, you know, on the higher side, 7%, you know, every year. Um, and with us having, like, two weeks in a row of 2, and now with a negative uh, 0.4, um, you know, those aren't doing good for our averages, you know, of us going up. Now, for the year, you know, year to date, I think, you know, my stuff is up like 32%. So, you know, obviously, uh, for weeks that I haven't been like saying what the week has been doing, we've been going up, you know, a lot more than like 2%. So, you know, things, you know, are averaging out pretty well. So, you know, it's not the end of the world that the last couple of weeks haven't been, you know, up to 7% because we've had plenty more than 7% uh, in the last year. But, yeah, I just, you know, want to point that out, you know, kind of, kind of talking about averages. For us to hit, you know, kind of ridiculous numbers like 32 in a year, um, you know, and but ultimately, you know, if I did this show for like 10 years, you'll you'll find that like on average, it's, you know, 10% up um, or, you know, and that's on the high end, 10% up. Um, you know, people tend to just be happy with seven. So it's like, oh, if you're up 37 in a year and but it's averaging seven doesn't that mean that several years there were a lot of bad numbers it's like yes that's true um just like you know we're up 37 ish or whatever for my stuff um in in the year and we are down uh and and we've just had the last couple of weeks be you know two percent two percent and negative 0.4 yeah it's it's we're gonna have plenty of these negative weeks and bad weeks and zero percent gain weeks to bump that 37 down to something more reasonable and those are the things that you, you, you know you kind of have to like expect um and i guess like the the good traders you know they they know when to get out of certain things and when to get into certain things to make sure that they're always around 37 percent gains but you know i'm not i'm not that great you know so i'm just Basically happy to see 37 and figuring it's going to be 7 at some point, you know, in the next, you know, 10 years. But, you know, those are the num those are the numbers. Those are averages that I was talking about. Um, and I just wanted to point that out. Uh, just to get uh, into the numbers. So with us being uh, down uh, 0.04, you know, like I've been saying with us, if we started in March, you know, 10,000, 50,000, 100,000. So last week um, we would have been doubled what we put in uh, for March. So if you had 10,000 in March, um, that would have been uh, 20,186. So with us being down 0.4%, uh, um, you would have lost $101 and it would be uh, $20,085. And, uh, $20, um, and to you know, just list off uh, the other ones quickly, um, if you had 50,000 in March, that last week would have been a hundred thousand nine hundred and thirty two bucks you would have lost uh, five hundred and three dollars to make it one thousand four hundred and twenty nine and if you had you know lucky enough and ridiculous enough to have the foresight to have a uh, hundred thousand in March last week that would have been two hundred and one thousand dollars eight hundred and sixty six bucks so this week it would have been uh, two hundred thousand eight hundred and sixty. So you would have lost a thousand and six dollars. So you know those. That's what uh, the numbers came out to. Um, you know, like last week. I mean, I shouldn't. You know, kind of just gloss over this with it being down. Um, you know, last week. Yeah, you know, I was talking about you know us being you know having a paycheck like run, having its own job. It's like oh that got you four hundred dollars this week. That got you four hundred dollars this week. Well, apparently that job <laughs> lost you. If if we're talking about you know um, the the fifty thousand in March, that in a week that job uh, lost you five hundred and three dollars. 
So, you know, it's nice to, like, talk about, like, oh, this paycheck. It's like your job. It's like your money's working another job for you. It's like a paycheck ga ga giving you a paycheck. Um, but these are the weeks where it's just like, yeah, that paycheck, you know, it lost you somehow. Like, I don't think regular jobs tend to take money from you, but this one did. So if it was the, the one that we were talking about last week where it was the 400 you know, this one lost you $500. Um, and then, like, even for the smaller one, that one, one lost you $101. You know, last week, you know, it may have got you 200 but now it, you know, it lost you 100 And it's not even too devastating to look at the 100000 one. I mean, if you have 100000 in the market, yeah, it lost um, 1000 bucks for you. So it's like, oh, well, whatever. But still, you know, it, it's money down the drain, you know, but... But I shouldn't say it's money down the drain because like one of the cliched things that I, I've heard people say like time and time again, talking about the stock market crash in 2007, somebody asked like Warren Buffett, like how much money he lost in 2007. And he said none. And people are like, oh, you jerk. You're just being, you know, whatever. And he's like, I didn't lose any money because I didn't sell. And it's just like if you don't sell, then you don't like, I think the word is like realize the gains. I, I don't know. I might be using that uh, incorrectly. But you basically the, the losses aren't real until you sell. And obviously the gains aren't real until you sell. So it's just like I'm not selling anything. So like I lost whatever amount of money I did in the week. But I didn't really lose it. It's just fantasy money to begin with. It's like I lost it off gains that I don't even really have. Um, so it's just like if next week it goes up something, yeah, I'll have that money back. So it's not like, yeah, I, I, again, I said I'll have that money back. I don't, it's like it wasn't, it's not gone. It's not back. It's nothing. It's just fantasy numbers that it's just like, yeah, it's like if I sell right now, it, I would have had more if I sold last week. But I'm not going to sell right now. And hopefully, you know, in, you know, years or whatever like that, it's going to be a lot more than it is right now. So it's going to be a higher number and I'm going to have that money, you know, higher. I don't even want to say I have that money back because I didn't really lose it. It's just a lower number. Um, but, you know, so, you know, with me saying it's just like, yeah, this week, you know, that money gained you a paycheck, an extra $500. It didn't really because it's like obviously you didn't put food on the table with it because you didn't sell it. Now, it's like it also lost you 500. It's just like, well, it didn't really lose you 500 because it's like you don't have any like more debt. You don't have like, a, you know, interest on a debt that you took out because it didn't it's you didn't realize that, you know, loss. So, you know, so that, that, that I mean, it's fun to play around with no, uh, words saying it's like it gained you, it lost you. But it's all fantasy numbers until you actually sell. Um, but, yeah, this week uh, wasn't good. It went down and and, you know. Like I was talking last week, you know, you know, this gaining you 400, this gaining you 500. Um, and that was off things that were going up 2%. Um, this week it was down 0.4 and it's like a similar number. And the reason why, you know, I think um, if I'm not sure if my math is correct, but, you know, if that is correct, you know, it is because it's a 0.4 off of a larger number. Um, whereas the 2% was on a smaller number, you know, coming into this week. So, you know, that's uh, that's all my talk about math and words and stuff like that. And, you know, I'll leave it there. As far as how the week went and, like, why things happened the way they happened and things that I did in my own personal stuff, um, I didn't really do anything in my own personal stuff. Uh, just looking at my own personal stuff, I am happy to see that um, a couple of the more oddball things have been hitting their 52-week uh, high. Um, talking about, like, Unity and things like that. Um, Tesla, uh, which I guess isn't really too oddball. I mean, that's just oddball as, as like, why? Why is it, like, doing as well as it is doing? But, um, but yeah, I think uh, Take-Two, you know, was hitting its 52-week uh, high, probably going into the holiday season and video games and stuff like that. Um, uh, my, um, my uh, what, what, what's it called? Uh, Project Red, my CD Project Red for the... Um, uh, Cyberpunk 2077. Uh, that was doing well in the week, and then it uh, crashed uh, on the last day. Um, but you know that that one's been doing fine. Like a lot of things have been doing fine. The pot stocks have been doing uh, okay. Um, so it's like a lot of the smaller things have been doing well, and it's kind of the larger things that haven't been. Uh, most of the days, it does tend to be like a fight between Apple being up and Nvidia being down. Um, but there have obviously on the week, there's been plenty of days where both of them were down. 
Um, but I'm kind of happy to see that those were the reasons why I was losing money. Uh, basically trusting normal good things. Because if my goofball things can be good, I can trust that the good things all be, will be good at some point, And then everything will be at 52 week. Uh, 50 week, 52 week highs instead of just like the good things like Nvidia and Apple and those other things like DraftKings and whatever you know keeping me down. It's just like if some of those goofier things, even though DraftKings wasn't uh, that great during the week, um, but like DraftKings, Beyond Me, you know things like that. If they can start to get up to their 52 week high, Boeing, if they can get up to their 52 week high, and like the good things can you know the good things I'm highly invested in can get up to their 52 week high. You know, then I'm, you know, making out on the deal and I'm happy to see that all my little lines there are at the, the top point and I don't have to look at any loser dogs anymore. Um, but that's uh, the only thing to say about my stuff is just I didn't make any trades or moves or anything like that. Just a fair amount of my goofier things have been doing well while my better things have been kind of doing cruddy. And the market, you know, I think um, it, I wasn't unique as to losing. I think uh, like a lot of people weren't doing well. And for like the reasons why, you know, partly it was because uh, I think there was a, a wave because there was a, I think the beginning of the week was good. And then we uh, crashed down uh, near the end of the week, but obviously not a lot because we're only down a uh, 0.4%. Um, but uh, some of the things was because uh, stimulus headlines, I think people have been like buying into the smoke being blown up their butt about like uh, deals and this and that and the other thing. I think uh, Friday there was like a big grump fest about, you know, getting a deal done. So people are upset about that. Um, but I think like almost kind of a, a larger one than that, because you see this trend happen every so often, is every time I see intraday, like so in the middle of the day when things are going well, um, something hitting a record high. So Dow hit a record high for the year. Uh, Dow hits an all-time high. And this, it's like we see these record high numbers in the middle of the day, and then you see those headlines. Then you look up to see how the market is, and the market's garbage. Um, and I think it's basically just like whenever we hit these highs, it hits a ceiling, and people start to, to sell, and we start to go down. So, you know, basically every other day I saw, you know, record 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 and on the same time i was seeing about the records it was like kind of negative on the on the day um so i think it's just like we're pushing up against the ceiling people are kind of like wary that it's like why are we doing well right now it's like a lot of things aren't doing too good um but you know it's just like but we are going into the holiday season so i think it's mostly to do with um us hitting record numbers and I think that if we can just get some good news, I don't know if it would come from vaccines or if it would actually come from a deal getting done or whatever. But I think like if we get some good news and we can bust through the you know record ceiling, um, we would have some ways to run uh, before we would like start having some pullbacks. Not that this week's pullback was anything to really get upset about. But that's uh, that's my analysis for the week and why things happen the way they happen. But that's uh, that's about it. And as far as my plans going forward, it's going to be basically the same. I'm going to say that uh, December is going to be um, kind of the way things have been. You know, a couple of weeks of uh, percentages up, full percentages up. Uh, maybe a week or two of uh, a full percentage down. So basically by the end of the month, we, we traded a little bit higher. Like I think we're going to hit like... Uh, more positives than negatives so in December we will be positive at the end that's what I'm uh, guessing and I think you know maybe a similar trend in January um, but I don't know I don't know with like um, the Georgia elections I don't know with like inauguration I don't know with like the news and stimulus and this that and the other thing like how long people will like allow whatever to go without like stimulus being like something that's like at their front door um, to like, you know, be good for the markets. Um, so it's just like maybe we can get through January with nothing, even nothing getting done and we'll still be positive. But I don't know. Once we get into like February and stuff like that, I think like the grace period is going to be very short for whatever, you know, uh, politician uh, administration type things going for the forward, uh, going for the future. And like people are going to start saying like, I want this, I want that. And places are going to start, you know, you know, laying people off. And I haven't even checked to see, like, if uh, 
the you know the numbers that keep on getting reported out each week have been steadily going down or steadily going up i know covid numbers have been doing good but i'm talking just solely with like job things like uh new people unemployment uh jobs created those type of numbers i haven't even really uh looked at those or heard heard anything so they can't really be that you know mind-blowing if i haven't even heard it but you know uh, i'm thinking like i said you know december is going to be good um, or at least uh, flat to good. Uh, January, more of a toss up. I think good just because of, you know, you know, just, I don't know, a feeling, I'll just say. Uh, and then, you know, who knows with uh, February and going on. But it all kind of really uh, comes down to um, stimulus for the short term and vaccines for the long term. But we'll see what happens like uh, with uh, the news and stuff like that. But we'll have to see what next week brings. All right. Bye.